Mr. Uh, up next. Good luck, Good afternoon. My name is Lance Loveday. I'm the CEO of Forager. I've been involved in the online advertising space for the last 18 years. Uh, for those of you who have been around a while, you'll realize that's longer than Google has been around. And in fact, uh, I was offered uh, a job at Google. I could have been one of the first 100 employees at Google. Uh, instead, I opted to stay at HP. Forager is my attempt to make up for that mistake. <laughs> My mission with Forager is to change how advertisers access and analyze their advertising data. And that matters because online advertising is kind of eating the rest of the industry at this point. It's become the dominant form of advertising already, and it's only expected to continue. And if you're the person at the controls of those campaigns, that creates a problem for you because it used to be easy. If you were on Google, you had about 70% reach, and you were fine pretty much. Now you've got to be on Google, you've got to be on the social platforms, you probably have to be on a remarketing platform, a display platform. Moving forward, there will be mobile-specific advertising, video-specific, and so on. So these platforms continue to proliferate, and that throws off a ton of data that you have to analyze. And so these advertisers are spending way more time with data, but that time they're spending is manipulating the data, pulling it into spreadsheets, marrying it up from one source to the next, and it's a pain in the ass. What we want to do is automate all of that, reduce the grunt work for the advertiser, help them improve the performance of their ad campaigns, and ultimately to make that individual look like a rock star to their boss and their colleagues, because they'll have literally have the answer to any question someone can ask at their fingertips. And they won't have had to do a bunch of spreadsheet magic for hours to make it happen. Our business model is very simple. It's a straight SaaS subscription model with multiple pricing tiers. We have validated these pricing tiers with customers and had positive response already. And with the SaaS model, of course, the economics are, are quite good, as everyone knows. The experience is, is as simple as can be. You go online, you create an account with Forager, you connect to your advertising campaign sources, and we deliver you nice visualizations that you can interact with to perform analysis on your campaigns and know exactly what's going on up until yesterday, so you can catch problems faster. The market is large and growing. It's really anyone who's advertising on multiple advertising platforms, which, uh, as I said earlier, is growing. So not only are the size of these bubbles growing, but the degree of overlap is going to continue to grow over time. Even the most conservative estimate now puts a couple few hundred thousand people directly into our target market currently. I think that's growing fast. Our marketing campaign, starting off, will rely heavily on partners because there are a lot of people that already have access to the digital advertiser community. Uh, we're also going to uh, employ our own advertising campaigns. It's, it's what we do. Uh, and we're going to utilize a number of growth hacking techniques as well because we do that on behalf of some of our clients uh, already. The competitive situation is really kind of fascinating. You've got a lot of technologies that are accessing these ad platforms and pulling the data already. But on the right half, you've got companies that want to manage the campaigns for you and kind of lock you into their proprietary system. Uh, and we don't think that that's the right way to go. And on the left half, you've got companies that want to build you kind of one data warehouse to rule them all. And they want to charge a premium to do that. We're taking a more democratic approach in trying to solve the problem for the individual advertiser at the controls uh, at a price point that a lot of these more enterprise-focused companies just don't want to touch it. So uh, we're, we're somewhat unique at that point. The team, uh, this is kind of a dream team. Um, more importantly than our individual resumes, though, is the fact that we are proven as a team. We've worked together. We trust each other. We complement each other well. And we've already built a successful company together. Forager is our second in our attempt to really scale this success. Our advisory board uh, is Still a work in progress, but we've managed to pull in some heavy hitters, including Sean Ellis, who is behind Growth Hackers and actually founded the term, or I founded. Uh, he conceived of the phrase initially, Growth Hacker, or Growth Hacking. Um, our plan for the next 60 days is to continue to incorporate user feedback into the product um, and then launch in Q1. 
Uh, we're fully bootstrapped. Um, and right now looking for partners, board members, advisors. Uh, and when we get to launch and get to some real traction, at that point, we'll be looking for funding. Our economics, um, we're looking to scale this to a $50 million company in five years. Honestly, my goal is to grow it to 100 million and sell it for a billion. And I want to do it right here in Sacramento. If you're interested, we'd love to talk with you upstairs later. Thank you.